everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have a really cool um, product to show you. So this is from Art Dot, and if you're one of my Art Dot loving friends, <laughs> um, we have just recently discovered Art Dot as one of the most wonderful storage solutions for beads that I have ever seen. Um, normally, I think Art Dot was created to store diamond drills for diamond painting. But let me tell you, I have put jump rings in them. I have put ear wires in them. I have put all kinds of findings. I have put all of my tiny rondelles, three millimeter, two millimeter, uh, teeny tiny ones. And today we're going to do this unboxing. Um, and I'll link the other two videos. They're just fantastic systems. But today we're gonna unbox this travel storage container. So I travel often. Um, we, well, we travel once a week, an hour down to my in-laws house every Sunday, usually. Um, and I like to take something to do because, you know, I'm in the car for an hour each way and we're there for hours. So it's nice to have something to kind of occupy my time a little. So this travel container is super cool. Now I have another travel container that I take on long distance um, road trips, like if we travel somewhere for hours, um, and Beth Gregor got that one for me, and I love it, but this is going to be my every week um, reliable travel container. I'm going to pack this thing up, and I'm going to, you know, show you everything I put in it to travel with every single week. So, <clears throat> first of all, our encouraging word for today is once you choose hope, anything is possible. I like that one. All right, so this container, oh my goodness, you guys, it is fantastic. It is made of a very, very thick um, material here. This is, it's kind of, it's flexible, yet it's formed. So, oh, it's just really nice. And when you open it up, I'm trying not to get myself on camera. I don't look too hot right now. Um, when you open it up, you have a nice, deep, mesh pocket here that you could put all kinds of things in. I'm probably going to put jewelry tools, a bead mat, um, thread. You'll see here in a few minutes. And then look at this. This entire tray comes out and it is full of these two inch. These are the little two inch containers. Oh my goodness. This is perfect for seed beads. Um, if you're doing seed beading or just small beads or findings, ear wires, jump rings, I mean, anything you can think of. So that's this small little area here. Let me check this out. I'm not sure. Okay, I was just feeling in there to see. It's very nice. It's, this is super thick foam, and these don't fall out. Like, look at this. So when I turn this over, look at that. They stay in there. We'll see if they do when they have beads in them. But that's pretty, pretty cool. So then you go to this next layered container, and it has two of these trays. So, oh my word, look at all these containers. You could put, oh my goodness, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight deep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 80, 160, two... 240, I think. I'm not very good with math in my head, guys. 240 little vials of beads. And also, if you didn't want to use all the beads, you know, if you just wanted to store stuff in the bottom of this, it's nice and deep, and you could store things in there and then stack this on top of it if you didn't want to use, you know, all of these bottles, if you didn't need all of them. So here it is. So this is a super cool, I just, I love this thing. I'm telling you. It has a very sturdy handle here. The zippers are really nice. It's high quality, you can tell. Look at this. And it's the perfect size just to carry with you. So here is what I took to my in-laws last time I went. <laughs> so check out that mess. Uh, there's thread, there's tools in here, there's beads just stuck everywhere. I mean, what a mess. So I am going to organize this into this and add some more things and make this the perfect travel container to take with me every single week when I go to my in-laws, okay? So stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quick. I'm in the process of putting a bunch of seed beads in here. Um, but these are the containers. They're two inches. 
Um, I find that they hold a lot of seed beads, <laughs> okay? But I'm going to show you in reference to, so this is a Toho size 11. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how many grams this is. You that do seed beads all the time probably know right off the top of, it says 8 to 9 grams, okay? So this has not been, none of these have been used. So Toho size 11, 8 to 9 grams, only fills up half of this. So they do hold, you know, quite a bit. I mean, um, this is a Toho size 8, and this says approximately 8 to 9 grams as well. So that was an 11. These are 8s. And again, right around half full for 8 to 9 grams. This is my Yuki 11 and this is a eight and a half gram tube, okay? So there you go, my Yuki 11 eight and a half grams fills up half of that. This is from Joann's, oh, these are Czech seed, Czech seed beads, John bead it says. These are 10 O's, and this is 22 grams. So let's see what the 22 gram one does. Probably won't hold the whole thing, but oh gosh, maybe it will. It will. It holds all 22 grams of those. <laughs> um, 11 O or 10 O's. John Bead Chet Glass. So 22 grams in this little thing. So let me tell you guys, this is really, I mean, I've got a bunch more stuff to put in here, but I am so impressed so far. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm still organizing away, but I wanted to show you guys, this is two full strands of bicones from Bargain Beadbox. If you order from Bargain Beadbox, we get these strands of bicones, um, and this is two of them. And these are all going to fit in one of these containers. I just am so impressed with these containers. I mean... They don't look like they would hold a lot, but they really, really do. So I'm going to take all these bicones off here, if I can, without dropping them all over the floor. That's been my issue today, is dropping everything all over the floor, having to chase it. Okay, and these are on this little wire thing. They always go everywhere when you try to take them off. Come on. Okay, and one more. And these all... I actually fit three strands of these bicones in another con in one of these. This one has three strands of bicones in it, but this is two, and I just wanted to show you. Look at this. I mean, this is so nice. These containers are, and there is two full strands of bicones, four millimeter bicones from Bargain Beadbox. So um, I'm going to keep organizing, and I want you guys to check out, I've linked in the description box below, the other two videos for, um, for uh, Art Dot. So there's a, a couple different storage containers. Um, there's one with drawers in it. There's one with uh, just little vials, and it's got drawers in it too, and a little organizer on top. So these are super great products, and um, I have a coupon code for you that will give you 10% off of your order if you want to, to order from them. So that is not if they're having a sale, though. If there's a sale, then you know, you're not going to get 10% and the sale price, so it's whichever is better for you. But um, go ahead and check those two videos out, and I'm going to keep on organizing this stuff, and I will be back to show you uh, what it's like here in a minute. Okay, I've got a mess. <laughs> so, you guys are not going to believe all the stuff that I've managed to put in these containers. I've got bicones in sixes, eights, and fours, and threes. I have got seed beads in sixes, eights, um, fifteens, elevens, tens. I've got pearls in different sizes. I've got ear wires and, um, oh my goodness, clasps, everything. So... <laughs> This container is amazing. So I am going to put all this in and get everything in there organized and then I will be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I have got everything in this container and let me just tell you, 
I am so impressed with the quality of these products, okay? So I'm going to show you everything that's in here. So I open this up, and I've got my whole packet with my tools in it. Now, I might take my tools out of here and just put them in there in a Ziploc baggie because they seem like they're kind of... I mean, this is pretty thick, and I don't want to bust the zippers out on that. So I think I may do that. Let me scoot this over. Let's find... Ziploc baggie, and I'm just going to put my tools and stuff in it because I think it'll be a better fit. So I carry a round nose plier, a crimper, and these are all from different companies. These are just the tools that I don't use. <laughs> my uh, flat nose plier, I mean, I don't use them here at home. And my cutter, I have some head pins in here. I might leave those out though. And um, my neat beading needles, a pencil, and these cool scissors that I got from Timu. Okay, so I'm just going to close this up. Actually, should I put the tape measure in here? I probably should. This is a tape measure that broke. It no longer retracts like it should, so I just keep it in my travel bag. Okay, so let me do this. Yeah, I think it'll be better without that, but look at this. Okay. So I have all of my tools. I've got all of the um, my wildfire and like in several colors. I have some cabochons because I'm wanting to do some bead embroidery. I've got head pins and eye pins. All that in there. Okay. Now let's and this here's a beading mat. So let's see how it's going to shut now that I took that. Yeah, that's easier. A lot easier. I just don't want to strain the zippers. I mean, this is a high quality product. This is like hard plastic. I love this handle. Uh, it's super nice. So that's what I've got in there and a bead mat. Okay. So then on the first layer, look at this. It's just so cool. So this lifts out if you want it to. And I have done, what I've done is I have, okay, so let me explain a minute. When I get on the road, so let me tell y'all a story. <laughs> Here's a little story. So once upon a time, there was a girl who was going on a 10-hour drive with her significant other. And she wanted to take all of her beading supplies because she never did bead weaving at home um, because she just didn't have time. But when she's on a 10-hour trip in the car, she's got time to do bead weaving, okay? And she loves to do bead weaving. So she gathered up all her stuff, and it was all in this tote bag, and it was just like everywhere, and it was a mess. And so she gets in the car, and they start on this 10-hour drive, and she pulls out her beading stuff and is deciding to make a bracelet. And she puts in her earbuds and her significant other smiles because that means he can listen to the music that she hates because she has her earbuds in listening to a YouTube video. So she puts in her earbuds and she starts beating. But she realizes that she's missing one of the colors that she needs the most out of her beading supplies. So she sideways glances over at significant other and he's jamming away doing his thing and just happy to be on the trip. And she thinks, okay, do I ask him to let me stop at Hobby Lobby? Because she has a reputation for being in Hobby Lobby for a really long time. And she decides to take a chance. And she's like, I don't have one of the bead colors that I need really, really bad. And he sideways glances at her and he says, we are not stopping. This is a 10-hour trip. We are not stopping at Hobby Lobby. And she's like, please, please. And he's like, no, we can't. We don't have time. We'll never get there. So she gets all aggravated and starts pouting a little bit. And she sighs every few minutes. And she pouts. And she can't make the bracelet that she wants to make. So she glances sideways at significant other who glances sideways at her. And he says... Okay, if you'll just be five minutes, do you know what you need in there? Yes, I know. So they see a Hobby Lobby sign as they're going down I-4. And she says, there's one. I'll run in really quick. I promise it'll just be five minutes. So he pulls in, lays his seat back. He's like, now remember, we have nine hours and 45 minutes to drive. Please, please hurry in Hobby Lobby. She's like, I will. I know exactly what I need. I'm going to run in and get it. So she runs in Hobby Lobby. She runs straight back to the beads, but on the way back to the beads, 
She notices red clearance stickers everywhere. Hobby Lobby is having their clearance, biannual clearance sale. Oh no. And so she gets distracted and she's looking at all the clearance items and she goes back up and gets a cart and she comes back and she's like, I'll just hurry really quick up and down the aisles really quick. And she's looking at all the clearance stickers and before she knows it, her phone rings and she looks and it's been 45 minutes and significant other is mad. And so she says, I'm coming, I'm coming right now. So she runs out to the car and she realizes she forgot to get the beads that she came in to get. So she's like, oh, I left something inside. So she runs back in and she's in Hobby Lobby for another 20 minutes. So now she's wasted a whole hour and significant other is furious. So the moral of this story, because they ended up getting a divorce over beads. They just couldn't come to grips with the fact that they had such different viewpoints of a trip and you know, it was so important for her to bead and it was so important for him to get there and they fought and fought and fought and the trip was a disaster and it's all because they did not have this Art Dot product. If she would have had this product, she would have had every bead that she needed and she would not have lost her husband due to beading. So I'm telling y'all, that's the story. Can any of you relate? <laughs> I kind of can. <laughs> Thankfully, Chris is very patient. Uh, but yeah, when we're on a long drive, he does not want to stop and let me go in any craft store anywhere. So look at all this organization. So I've got bicones. I've got um, seed beads in 11 O's. And then this bicones in with the, so that's yellow. And then we go into gold. And we've got all these bicones, and I even have some pearls in here in gold. Seed beads in 15-0, 11-0, 6 and we go into orange and pink and purple, and this thing has 80 little bottles in it. And let me tell you, these little bottles hold quite a bit of beads. Look at all these seed beads. Oh my goodness, this is a fantastic product. So that's the first layer, okay? We're going to unzip. Trying not to be on camera because I don't look too fantastic at the moment. I wasn't, you know, ready for that. And here is my bead embroidery um, stuff. So I'm wanting to try bead embroidery. That's what the cabochons are that on there are up there for. So this is um, some leather and some stuff that you can bead embroider on. And I probably will take out some of this. I don't really need quite this much. Um, probably going to keep in black, brown, like the main colors, white, because when you beat embroider on it, you know, you're not really going to, you're not really going to see the color. We'll do cream and silver and maybe this turquoise. And then the rest of these I'll put back in my streaming supplies. That's where it came out of. And I'm just going to stick this right back in here. So I just thinned that out just a bit. I just don't want to stress the zippers out on this thing. But I'm telling you what, it holds a ton of stuff. So let's put this. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> my OCD is showing. Okay. Let's put this right in here. Back right in here. And there we have our nice little bead embroidery leather backing pieces. Okay, and then check out this level. So this level as well has 80 little bottles. So again, color coded, I've got bicones, I've got every bead I could possibly really need in here. Okay, so I'm not going to get stuck on my 10 hour trip having to run into Hobby Lobby and getting in trouble. And then look here. So this is part beads, so the whites and the clears and the silvers. And then over here, I've got 12 millimeter jump rings, which are what I use when I clasp lobster clasps a lot of times, like um, for a bracelet or a necklace. I have smaller jump rings in four different metals. I have wire guardians, crimp beads, um, box clasps. These are clasps for bead woven bracelets, all those, lobsters. Toggle, 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 ear wires, fish hook ear wires, ball ear wires, post ear wires, more fish hooks in different colors, more clasps, more fish hook ear wires, bead bugs, and to top it all off, I have two empty containers that I didn't even have to use. 
So what a fantastic product this is, guys. I mean, huh, I think this will save your um, relationship if you're <laughs> trying to travel with beads. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm going to keep it packed just like this. Um, we have a couple of trips coming up. And like I said, I go down to Chris's parents every single Sunday and so all I have to do now, because I have everything in this one container that I could possibly need to make bracelets, earrings, necklaces, to bead embroider, okay? So I've got all my bead stringing. I could even put some of my bead stringing wire in if I wanted to do wire um, stuff, which I probably will put a couple rolls in there just to have it. But wow, what an awesome little container. And look at this. I have turned this upside down very gently, but they stay in there pretty well. I mean, I'm not going to turn it upside down and shake it because I'm afraid they would fall out. But, you know, they're pretty secure in there. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome little um, organizational thing. I just, I can't believe it. It's so nice. So I'm just going to try to flatten that out. Zip this up. And it zips easily. It doesn't seem to be straining or stressing. And there it is. Grab it. Go. You're on your way. Okay, so you guys are going to want to check out art.com uh, for this travel case. I love this thing. It is sturdy. It even fits in my scooter. So if I want to take it down to Orlando with me, it fits right in my scooter right there. It's just perfect. I love it. So check it out, art.com, um, and I will have... All the information linked in the description box below. And for travel in the car, it's absolutely perfect. Um, holds everything I need. So I'm so excited. I'll be taking this every time I go down to Orlando and on other trips too. So check them out, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.